All right. Distributive property and combining like terms. So the distributive property, again, that is a crazy weird word. Distributive. Try saying that. Distributive. Very good. So we're going to look at the root word. What does this mean? Distributive root word, base word. Distributive means to distribute. Very good. And distribute. If I'm going to distribute something, what am I going to do? If I say, here's your homework, let me distribute your homework back to you. What do I do? Give it back. Give it back. I hand it out, right? I pass it out. Spread it out. Everybody gets it. So distribute, we can think of, right? Spread out. Or hand out, right? I hand out the homework. So we distribute, we pass things out. So in algebra, it's like this. When we see parentheses, and we've had this discussion with the order of operations, with multiplying, when I see a number right against the parentheses, there's no operation in the middle, no plus, no minus. What does this mean? Multiply. So we're going to multiply. So this is going to be 2x minus 6. Very good. Some of you know this rule already. So we distribute and we multiply this 2 times the x, 2x, the 2 times the negative 3, negative 6. Okay? And that's it. That's distributive property. So we multiply, and we multiply to every term in the parentheses. Every term in the parentheses. So let's do another example. One where we have to distribute and then combine like terms. distribute that two only inside the parentheses. Do not distribute that two with the 8x or with that 10. These are not in the parentheses. This closed parentheses, that tells you stop multiplying. Start multiplying, stop multiplying. So 2 times 3, 6x plus 8, and then minus 8x minus 10. So after we distribute, we combine like terms. So look here. What are the like terms? It's going to be the 6x and the minus 8x. So that gives us negative 2x. Very good. And then 8 minus 10, negative 2. That's it. Very easy. Okay. Any questions on that? You think you could do that in your homework? All right. <laughs> 